Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Boo. It has been so long since I've just been in Creator Sim and like created a sim <laughs> just for the sake of it. So since it is spooky month this month, or it was when I recorded this video at least, I thought it'd be fun to create some sims that were like occult inspired. So I decided to create two sims, one of them being a vampire and one of them being a bat. Although looking back, um, I've kind of realized that they're both vampires because vampires turn into bats. <laughs> so I have decided to create a little backstory here for these girlies. So the first sim I created, she was kind of inspired by like um, a bat and then the second sim a vampire. So I thought it would be fun to say that these two sims uh, siblings, the more vampire sibling, she's a little bit more serious than her sister. She wants to live her life and become the master vampire. She is inspired to be like Vlad. She wants to be very evil and just walk down the streets very slowly and scare people. <laughs> um, and she's just very set on becoming like the master vampire whereas her sister the bat version she's a bit of a party girl i think that she likes to sneak out at night she the way she sneaks out is she turns into a little bat self um, and flies through the window and she likes to sneak out and go to the clubs have fun she doesn't take life too seriously she doesn't really care if she gets caught drinking blood from people at the clubs and if buffy the vampire slayer caught her then she wouldn't care she just wants to live every day the best life her best party life and that's all she wants. She doesn't care about she doesn't care about being a mortal, a master vampire like her sister. She just wants to have fun every day. So that's kind of where I've gone with the backstory here. Although while I was creating these sims, I honestly was just creating a vampire in a bat. <laughs> anyway, I don't really play with occult sims that much in my game. I think the first time I've really played with occult sims is like now in my Star Sign Legacy save. And even saying that, I'm not really playing with the occults. I just kind of have them in my families as like a secondary sim. I've always liked to keep my series really realistic in a sense, besides a couple little things here and there. Um, but for the first time, I've introduced ghosts, I've introduced vampires, and honestly, I'm having a lot of fun just exploring different things that these occults can do. And with the new Life and Death expansion pack that just dropped like yesterday, <laughs> I'm actually so excited to now play as Ghost too. I'm really excited to get into my Star Sign series and see what we can do with this new pack. I know there's a rebirth option. I know a lot of people are really curious on how that works and whether that's something we want to do since we have had a sim pass away. And then on top of that, we've got funerals and things too, which is really exciting for like a legacy player because for the longest time I've really wanted to have funerals to honor my sims that have passed. But it just seems like so much effort when you have to do these things on your own. So now that there's an actual event and items to do a funeral, I'm actually super, super excited. I feel like it's perfect. I cannot wait to get in and enjoy it in my series. I am super lucky to have gotten access to the Life and Death expansion pack a couple days early. So I've had a little bit of a play with it. And honestly, so far, it's been really fun. I wanted to create a new series on my channel with this pack but unfortunately i just don't feel like i have the time or energy to commit to that so i think for now i'm just gonna enjoy it in my own time and then i'm just gonna utilize the aspects of the pack in my series i might create like a one-off video or something just kind of playing in the world with a sim but if that doesn't happen it doesn't happen <laughs> If you guys decide to get this new pack, um, if you are purchasing through the EA app, I do have a creator code that you can use. It's just SimsBoo, same as my YouTube channel. This will give me a small commission each time the pack is used, which honestly is going to be really helpful <laughs> for the next coming months because if you guys don't know, I'm currently in my eighth month of pregnancy. I am about to finish work <laughs> for the year um, and yeah, I won't be back for a couple months. So honestly, anything helps. If you guys want to use my code, if you guys want to watch my videos, anything really, really helps me at the moment. So thank you so much. And I really appreciate to everyone that's like stuck around and use my code and um, watch the crap out of my legacies <laughs> because even though at the end of the day, I'm honestly just here to have a good time and I would be making these videos regardless of views or comments or money. It's still kind of a nice benefit to get, you know, a little bit something out of it just to help me stay afloat over a, a difficult period of my life that's coming up. I guess also in saying that, I probably should mention that I am planning on making a video soon talking about it because I think at some point I'm going to have to take a hiatus from YouTube. I don't actually know what my plan is 
at this stage I kind of want to see how things go I want to be realistic and say like I'm gonna be a first-time mom and I'm not gonna have time to sit down and record and edit and if I do have time I think I'm just gonna be so exhausted so I am gonna probably take some sort of hiatus at some point I don't know when I don't know if it's actually gonna happen I could have like the chillest baby in the world I could be on top of my sleep and Feel really inspired to continue creating but I just don't know at this stage um, so I'll definitely make a video on that a little bit closer but I just wanted to give those of you that have been hanging around for a while a little bit of an update just in case I don't get to making a video later on anyway I'm getting a little bit off track here so let's take things back to the video so I really hope you guys enjoyed my little occulty sims that I made today I was surprised at how not difficult I thought this was I've made vampires in the past and they just haven't really turned out the way that I wanted to I really just felt like I could never get their looks scary but I think honestly my sim style is just a little bit too cutesy for that so this time I just kind of lent into my sim style and just was like let's just see what happens if I make it how I actually want to make it instead of trying to make these sims spooky and I think they turned out really cute <laughs> cute but intimidating I will say and I hope you guys think the same anyway I'm gonna wrap up the voice over here but I hope you guys had a very nice Halloween and I'm really looking forward to playing the new pack. I hope you guys are too. If you're new here and you like today's video, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the like button below. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. Have a good one. Bye.